in Afghanistan and Iraq, and this is all going, continues to go on and it's escalating, uh, the conflict between soldiers and citizens, uh, civilians. So in Iraq, for example, there were many unintentional, tragic, well, they were, they were intentional in a sense, killings of Iraqis by American soldiers for the following reason. Frequently, when uh, American soldiers wanted to stop um, Afghan uh, Iraqis from, uh, to check their cars to see if there were explosives in the cars, they would raise their hand with the palm forward, basically with a gesture of stop. And when I do this, when I raise my hand like this with the palm out, many of you will see that maybe have a different interpretation of what this means. You know what many Iraqis thought this meant? Hi. The outstretched arm, palm out, hello. So they drove through the checkpoints, and, and many of them were shot to death. This is about cultural sensitivity, cultural preparation. In Afghanistan, many of the Afghan soldiers who were working with American and NATO forces suddenly turned on Americans and NATO forces and shot them. Not because, whoops, am I okay? Uh, not because they were um, uh, plants, you know, subversives, but because Americans had unintentionally insulted them. Why do you think it is that many parts of the world, particularly in Asia, people sit with their legs crossed and with the, you don't see the soles pointing out? Because in many parts of the world, when you expose the shoe to the public, this is an insult. The bottom of the shoe is filthy. You remember when Saddam Hussein's statue came down? You all remember how many Iraqis took shoes and were hitting this? It was, it, this is the ultimate insult. You remember when George Bush had a shoe thrown at him? This is the ultimate in insult. So when American soldiers unknowingly sat with their feet out like this, excuse me for offending anybody in the audience here, with the shoes facing, many of them were furious. How would we possibly know that blowing your nose in some cultures in public in front of people would cause huge anger? How would we know that unless you had some kind of cultural training? How would we know that tossing toys from a car to Afghani children, which was meant with good intent, was seen as an insult? How could you possibly be throwing toys to children? Why don't you give them to them? Talk to them. Engage with them. Again, it wasn't the soldier's fault, they just didn't get the training. So, to conclude, because there are so many examples of this, I wrote the book because I think that in an age of globalization, more and more cultures are coming together in ways in which we are not prepared for each other. We don't understand the real intent behind behaviors, behind images, behind gestures, behind how we use our voices, et cetera, et cetera. So I leave you with a statement, one of my favorite state statements from uh, Friedrich Nietzsche. Those who were dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. Those who were dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. This is about the need in this globalized world to hear songs we've never heard before. Mm -hmm.